Harmony is one of the most important concepts in Chinese society. To the Chinese, harmony means the proper and balanced coordination between things. And when our closest relationships are in harmony, success will follow. Harmony is deeply rooted in another core Chinese value, family. Numerous aspects of Chinese life are connected to honoring parents and ancestors. And of the five key relationships in Confucianism, three relate to family. Family is where it all begins. It's the foundation of our lives, our society, and our world. Our initial focus should be our families. If a leader can create harmony in his or her family, he or she then can create prosperity in the nation and bring peace and prosperity to the world. A key component of harmony is benevolence, another revered quality to the Chinese. It's based in family ties, but extends outward to friends on one's entire social circle. And it's also the basis for values like justice, honesty, wisdom, loyalty, courtesy, and self-discipline. But harmony isn't just a lack of discord or a demand for uniformity or complacency. It's about going from a state of uncoordination to one of coordination, from imbalance to balance. And that can be between humankind and nature, between members of community, or between one person's mind and body. Here's a story to illustrate. During a time of great drought, a village asked a Taoist master to help bring rain to their dry fields. The master agreed to come and ask for a small hut with a garden. For three days, he tended the garden but performed no special rituals or asking anything further from the villagers. On the fourth day, rain began to fall. When asked how he had achieved such a miracle, the master answered that he was not responsible for the rain. He explained that when he came to the village, he had sensed this harmony within himself. Each day, as he tended the garden, he returned a little more to himself. When he returned to the balance, the rain came naturally. When we are in harmony with ourselves, we are also more connected to the natural flow of things and thus have greater access to larger universe rhythms. For this harmonious engagement, parallel events can arise, like what happened between the Taoist master and the rain. Our inner attitude is inseparable from events taking place in the world. The task before us is to restore our inner peace with the flow of life. In doing so, we awaken a feeling of connection, one filled with awe, wonder, and mystery. We are no longer passively at the mercy of events. We became active participants, open, aware, in harmony, both with ourselves and what is around us. What is the takeaway? What harmony can mean in our own lives is that to be successful in our careers, in our relationship, and self-development. We need to cultivate harmony first in ourselves, and the rest will follow. In business, we need to be respectful of the others. Treat them the way we'd like to be treated. When we are in harmony, a successful business deal means everyone can win. And that's when our business or our careers can grow.